Assalamualaikum and good day today. Hope so. Your day is a bright day and a happy day. Chapter 5 Consumer and Industrial Chemistry. Now we go to the third part which is food additives. What is food additive? Additive natural or synthetic ingredients added to food to prevent the damage or to improve the appearance, taste or texture. We have seven types of food additive please um, write the name of the food additive this is the class the type number one we have the preservative okay second one we have antioxidant and we have emulsifiers here flavoring mm, yummy thickness stabilizers and dyes Food additives and their function. Now we go to the first one, which is the preservative. Prevent or delay the growth of bacteria or fungi to make the food last longer. For example, we have salt in dried fish, sugar in jams, vinegar in pickles, benzoic acid in chili sauce, sodium benzoate in bread, sodium nitrite or sodium nitrate in sausage. What is the difference between nitrite and nitrate? Nitrite is NO3 and O2 1 minus. Nitrate is NO3 1 minus. That's the different the, the, the numbers of O. And next one is sulfur dioxide in dried fruits. Sulfur dioxide. That's O2. Now we go to the second class, which is second is it class? Second type of uh, food additive, which is antioxidants. Antioxidants used to slow down the oxidation of fats in food. We are seeing the makanan the fats, which is biscuits, um, cakes. Okay, prevent oily or greasy food from becoming rancid, like biscuits. Okay, example of antioxidant we have ascorbic acid, vitamin C in sweets, citric acid in oily food such as uh, cakes and biscuits, tocopherol, vitamin E in margarine. Now we go to the third type of food additive, which is the flavoring. Repla replace the loss of original flavors during the food processing. Add flavor of fragrant smell to make food tastier. Replace food seasonings that are expensive or seasonal, such as those found in certain fruits. For example, the durians. Yes, do we don't have any durians for the whole for the whole um years. So, uh, durian uh, come out with the musim durian sahaja. So how we get the the fruits that the durian fruits taste? Okay, so it is synthetic one. Okay, the MSG, Faiza and Adabi they also have the MSG, MSG yeah, in instant noodles, aspartame, aspartam. Uh, this give you a sweet sweet uh taste, sorbitol or stevia used in diet Pepsi, diet Coke. Asters such as propyl ethanoid for pear flavor and ethyl ethanoid pineapple flavor. Yeah, pineapple flavor is ethyl ethanoid. You may draw the ester. This is the ester. Propyl ethanoid. Uh, the fourth one is the stabilizer. Give uniform and smooth texture. Yeah, like in jams. Pectin to thicken jams. Agar to uh, from seaweed to make jellies. Agar agar so agar emulsifier here emulsify to immiscible liquid like example cream and ice the ice cream so to immiscible both ice and cream we use emulsifier examples we have monoglyc ah, sorry monoglycerides and triglycerides in peanut butter lacetin in chocolates yummy chocolates and thickness to thicken the liquid starch, gelatin, acacia gum, santan gum are used to thicken soups and sauce. For example, the Campbell soup. And the last one, I think, dyes add to restore color to make the food look attractive and delicious. The blue color, what's this? The yellow color, and so on, and all the colors from the sweets. Okay, examples we have azo compounds to give yellow. Yeah, you must remember, okay? You must memorize. Azo yellow, 
red, brown or black color. Triphenyl compounds to give green, blue or purple color. Caramel to give the brown color. Justification for using food additive. Okay, why food additive is used? Seasonal crops and fruits can be enjoyed all year round. Food stay fresh and last longer. Enhance the appearance. Beautiful to pick. Okay, taste better. Bad effect of food additive when taken excessively. Allergies. Some. Nerve disorder. OMG. Asthma. Rashes and hyperactive in children. And the bad one is the cancer. That's the end of part uh, 3, which is 5.3, food additive. Thank you.